There's nothing worse than running into an ex, right? And you may go to extreme lengths to make sure that it doesn't happen, like avoiding a certain spot where running might take place. Well, turns out in Hollywood, that's almost impossible as exes Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth just discovered. What's up, y'all? I'm Emil Ennis Jr. back here with Clever News, and the Oscars are officially over, and with the award shows comes lots of pre-parties and after-parties. Well, things got weird for Miley and Liam, who just so happened to be at the same party at the same time, just weeks after they finalized their divorce. And guys, if you thought these two could carry on being friendly after their split, well, think again. So, leading up to Hollywood's biggest night, there are parties all over the town. It's part of the big spectacle, so agencies tend to throw some of the biggest ragers, and they invite all the A-list talent to celebrate last year's success. So it was really no surprise that Miley would appear at a pre-Oscars party for WME, which is one of the biggest agencies, and it's also no surprise that Liam would show up as well. Now, according to Cosmo, the ex-couple largely ignored each other as best as possible, but making matters even worse, things got real awkward when Miley's parents, Billy Ray and Tish Cyrus, showed up. A source said they stayed away from each other. Liam left when Miley and her parents got there. Miley's parents were staying separate from Liam and were hanging out in the back area of the party. They avoided him but didn't seem like they had any beef with him. Miley also didn't seem to be bothered by the fact that Liam was there because he left soon after she walked in. Ah, uh, so I guess no one is really ready to socialize quite yet. And I mean, it's for good reason. I mean, Miley and Liam have been separated for nearly five months, but their divorce was only finalized a few weeks ago. TMZ reported that the couple cited irreconcilable differences on their official reason as to why the marriage didn't work out. But more damaging rumors on why the couple split began to circulate. A source told TMZ that Liam was to blame for his drug and alcohol abuse saying Miley, quote, tried valiantly to save the marriage and the deal breaker was that Liam was drinking a lot and using certain drugs. But Liam, of course, denied any substance abuse. Instead, his reps pointed the finger straight back to his wife, a wife who was unfaithful to him during their marriage, reportedly. The rep told TMZ, this is another attempt by Miley to distract from her infidelity and recent outrageous public behavior. Miley naturally denied those allegations. She responded to the rumor on Twitter shortly after announcing the split. She said, I can admit a lot of things, but I refuse to admit that my marriage ended because of cheating. Liam and I have been together for a decade. I've said it before and it remains true. I love Liam and always will. She added, but at this point, I had to make a healthy decision for myself to leave a previous life behind. I am the healthiest and happiest I've been in a long time. You can say I'm a twerking, pot smoking, foul mouth hillbilly, but I am not a liar. Making matters worse, Liam apparently didn't know that his marriage with Miley was over until he saw the announcement on social media. Miley had reportedly blindsided him, but while his reps handled the media, Liam chose to stay out of the drama and he did not respond directly to any rumors about his social life on social media. Instead, he posted this that said, just a quick note to say that Miley and I have recently separated and I wish her nothing but health and happiness going forward. This is a private matter and I have not made, nor will I be making any comments to any journalists or media outlets. Any reported quotes attributed to me are false. So yeah, we understand that there's still a little bad blood between Miley and Liam. I mean, don't blame them one bit for steering clear of each other at the Oscars party. And hey, they both have dived right back into their work since the split. Miley is actually recovering from vocal cord surgery. She went under the knife back in November for an issue that she'd unknowingly been dealing with for years. After a few weeks of silence, Miley returned to singing business as usual. She even posted this photo of herself working through the recovery. You know, a little squat singing. Ah. And of course, Miley was back on stage in no time. She and her dad, country legend Billy Ray Cyrus, recently hit up Glastonbury with Little Nas X. And just this weekend, Miley was spotted covering the Doors' Roadhouse Blues alongside guitarist Robbie Krieger to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the band's Morrison Hotel, which was released February 9th, 1970. And as for Liam, well, he's been busy too. Fans may have spotted the Aussie actor during last night's Oscars with a promo for the new streaming service, Quibi. Liam's got a brand new show on Quibi called Most Dangerous Game, where he plays a terminally ill man desperate to provide for his family before he dies. Take a look. Every hour you survive for a grand total of $24.5 million. Just you on your own. But we also have to mention that both Miley and Liam have moved on to different relationships since calling it quits five months ago. Miley has been seeing fellow singer Cody Simpson for several months now, and Liam just started dating model Gabriella Brooks. But it's time for you guys to chime in. Is there anyone out there who wished that they would just get along? I mean, we completely understand the current animosity. Everything is still very fresh, but eventually, do you think that Miley and Liam will be able to be in the same room together? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. And then hit that subscribe button for all the latest entertainment and celebrity news. Clever News has you covered. And guys, make sure you click right over here for another brand new story. I'm Emil Jr. Thank you so very much for watching. You can find me on Instagram at Emil Jr. And I'll see you soon.